Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a quest compatible Titan that's a little different from the main Titans, alright? So it's going to have a fluffy tail. And I have the, uh, the, the file for that that was made by a very generous person in the uh, Titan Discord. I will uh, put the name in the description of the video because honestly I don't know the name right now. But I'll look later and I'll, I'll tell you. So right now we're going to go into Unity, open it up. Uh, I, I use this version right here. I'll, I'll put all the links, everything you need, in the description. But we're going to click right here. We're going to make a new file. You can call it whatever you want. Call it like, uh, see, that'll work, okay? It doesn't matter what you call it. Okay, let's get right into this. The thing's going to open right here. It's going to open here. And, uh, yeah. We just got to wait. We just got to wait for this thing to load. And uh, when it loads, we'll get right into it. Dang. Would you, would you look at that? We freaking loaded into it. What a surprise. Okay. So, this is what you're going to have to do here. You're going to have to go and uh, drag these things in here. You're going to need the dynamic bones. The dynamic bones does not come with this. I, d I just made a fold in here because it's easier. So, we're going to drag the dynamic bones. We're going to drag it into Unity. you got to do this in this order, too. Like, do it in this order. Then we got to import them. And when they're imported, everything's all good. Okay, next thing. We grab this VRC SDK3 file. We drag it into here. And when it loads, we're going to do all that all up there. It'll work, and it'll be good. We just need it to load. We import it, and when it's imported, bam, it'll be good. The VRC SDK is loaded. Okay, it's in there. It's good. So the next thing we're going to go and do here, we're going to go into the Unity package here. Then we're going to take, uh, first off, we're going to do the Tatum PC first, okay? Very important you do this one first. Very important, okay? Drag this bad boy here. And then, uh, yeah, you wait for it to load. Right, you click import on this sucker, and then you'll load in like that. All right there, so once that's loaded in, you'll be super good. So it's loaded in there, that's good. But now we gotta import something else here. I believe it's on my desktop here. So it'd probably be easier just to move this down. Alright, you see? We got a folder here. We got a file here. Which one is it? We're gonna do the main one. You need the one called modded titum. Modded tie titum. What a modded tail titum. Okay, that's what it's called. We're gonna drag it down here, like that. Import it. It should be really fast, because it's a really small thing. Okay, freaking perfect, freaking beautiful. Now we could go in, take this one, doggo Tatum, drag it in, right there, bam, it works. Okay, you see this? It's not a normal Tatum, okay? Look at it, it has a tail, isn't that freaking wacky? Okay, good. Now I'm going to show you how to texture this bad boy, because uh, you're going to have to do that. Uh, if you know how to texture a normal Tatum, good, because it's exactly the same. You actually don't have to change anything. The tail will come out exactly as it is in the art, so I'm going to go here to the Tatum, I'm going to go to the PC avatar, and, uh, not there, I'm going to go to material, okay, the material is very, very good, so we're going to go into, uh, I, I, got, I got a file here, it's my stuff file here, okay, we, we got some textures here, okay, so we're going to use, this is this one, it's, it's, it's a desaturated version of my normal Tatum, okay, I'm going to put it on there just for the sake of the video, you click on, you click on this texture, then you click and drag this. Bang. Okay. Do it for this one too. Might need to double click. I would click off and on. It's a little glitchy. Drag this bad boy right here. Bang. Look, you can see him getting colored. Isn't that amazing? Drag this right here. And bang. Look at it. It's colored. It's it's completely textured. Look at that tail. It's so fluffy, isn't it? Okay, so good. Okay, just like that. Bam, you did it. You can take this camera. Move it. Click in, you can click it like this. Move it. Bang. You press the uh, E key and you can rotate it. Bam, look at that. So beautiful. You press the W key again, it brings back the arrows. So beautiful. Okay. Don't click these boxes. I don't know what they do. Drag it in. Don't get too close because it does something a little wonky like that, okay? Leave it right there for now, okay? Then you're going to click the v v VR Chat SDK thing. Show your control panel, all right? It'll pop up. You type in your name. Bam. And then you type in your password. Bam! Just like that, okay? Then for this avatar, right here, 
you're gonna you're gonna make sure in your content manager. No, no, in authentication. Okay, everything's good. Never mind. Ignore ignore what I'm saying there. Okay, we're gonna click uh auto fix on this. Uh, never mind. Don't click that. Okay, trust me. Don't click that. Click auto fix here on this one. Avatar McMap mix, missing stream apps. Whatever. Click that auto fix. Auto fix yourself right there. Okay, good. Click this. It's gonna fix this thing. I guess that's what it does. Look, right here at the bottom, online publishing, build and publish for Windows. Okay, good, freaking amazing. Click that bad boy. And it'll it'll take a bit to load, but once it loads, you'll see what's going on here. It's gonna build it, publish it for Windows. We could give it a name, and we could put it in freaking VR chat. It's gonna be freaking fantastic. I tell ya. All right, believe it or not, the freaking avatar is done. It only took like 10 minutes. All right, so let's name the avatar. We're going to name this bad boy, uh, bad boy. Okay, very good. Description. Very good, okay. No nudity, no blood gore, no realistic violence, no not safe for work. Make it private if you want to keep it for yourself, public if you want people to steal it, okay? Then you click upload, and it's going to take like 10 minutes again. But I'll get back to you when that's done. Freaking fantastic. The upload is done. That's amazing. Fortunately for us, we don't need to go into VRChat to test it. Because we know it's going to work, okay? So this is done. This is fantastic. It's going to work in-game. And it's going to have the bone physics and everything. So now, complete. You don't need this anymore, okay? Click new project. Whatever, it doesn't matter what the name is. Create the project. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. Dynamic Bones, the VRC, SDK3, and then we're going to drag the Titan in it. But instead, okay, I'm just making it clear, we're, making it, we're going to use the Irix Tatum Quest version for this, okay? So I'll get back to you when they're dragged in, th and they're dragged in there like that, okay? So we're going to do that. Alright, so now we're going to drag the Quest in, just like that, the Irix Tatum Quest. Okay, put this bad boy in there, and he'll load right in there. And he should do it fairly fast, because uh, the Quest 1 has less stuff attached to it, which is pretty fancy, pretty good for what we're doing here. Bam, he's loaded in just like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to a freaking home screen here. Okay, so we're going to take the modded Tail Titan Quest Edition here. I think. We're going to drag it here. See if it works. Okay, fantastic. This works so good. Okay. So we did need the tail text thing. Whatever. Okay, we need it. So, okay, let's go into here. We, we, we color it the same way. You go into the thing. Thing here. Yep, and then uh, you, you grab whatever textures you're using. Put it in there. Bam. Freaking grab this. Drag it to here. Okay, super good. Okay, and now uh, it's, it's, it's a little, little weird because you gotta drag this one down here too. Bam. Okay, look at perfect, normal. It's gonna do whatever. Take, drag the camera around here. Do, do, do whatever you do with it here. Press the, uh, the E button here. Rotate it around. Press W. Drag it up for right now. Okay. So that, that, that's freaking fantastic. Okay. Then, uh, before we do anything else, okay, you see tail version. Okay, good. So, so that that's all set, but we need to go to file here, and no 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 we don't no, 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 yeah 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 file here we're gonna go to build settings here we we'll switch it over to Android. If you don't got the Android downloaded, go download it. Okay, I'll link I'll link some videos to you. Okay, we're gonna click switch platform here, and it'll take a bit to load. So uh, I'm gonna let it do its thing, and uh, I'll add it to when it's loaded and stuff. Okay. Okay, thankfully, it's all loaded now, okay? So, it's an Android version. We click here, and, uh, just, uh, we're gonna go here to the VR thing. We're gonna click, uh, show the control panel. Okay, and the thing should pop up here. Gotta log in again. Sometimes it keeps you logged in for some reason. I don't really know why. Okay, sign in. Bam. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, very good. So, we're gonna go here, auto fix this. And good. That'll work now. Okay. 
So this is very good here. So we're gonna click a. Actually, no, no, no. Okay, listen. So you got you gotta do it like this, okay? Uh, uh. okay. So you, you're gonna you're gonna go here and you're gonna copy uh, what whatever one you just uh right here. Co copy the idea of this, okay? That's copied. Very good, okay. So, so you're gonna go you're gonna do that there and then uh. You're gonna go here and uh blueprint idea attach it right here, okay? You just copy and paste that. I use Control V to copy paste. I click attach, okay? Now it thinks it's the same avatar. So now you're gonna go to the uh. Build and publish for Android here. And, uh, yeah, wait for it to load. It'll take a bit. Because it always does. Alright, freaking amazing. So, it's it's done this now. It's ready It's ready to be quest compatible, okay? But the first thing you need to do, go back to the scene. Now you got two cameras here, okay? I think, uh, think this... No, that ain't the right camera, okay? Ignore that. That's a stupid camera. You're gonna use this one. See, look, it, 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 it doesn't break the face. Put it here. You do whatever you want with it. Make sure over here you do a solid color or you could do something else. I don't know. There's ways to put pictures in here. I ain't in for that. I like to I like to I like to do something like uh something like that. It looks funny, it looks cute, okay? So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna go to the uh Okay, you just click game right there. At the, right here, game. Game, okay, you click that. Bad boy, thing, same thing. Private, yep, accept, and this is gonna be the quest one, okay? Click upload image. Bam, look at that image right there. That's the one that we just did. Okay, very good. Click upload, and when it's done, we could go to the VR chat, and it'll work, and it'll be quest compatible, okay? I'm going to show you guys that, so I'm going to go load up my freaking VR chat right now, and I'm going to show that to you guys, okay? Okay, well, that ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> Anyways, let's go into the world here. Whatever, let's see what world it puts us in. Is it going to put me in my home world or a random world? Let's see. Oh, uh, it put me in the freaking, uh, the basic home, okay? So I'm my current avatar right here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to avatar. We're gonna go to avatar right here, okay? And then uh, we're gonna click the bad boy one. Super freaking amazing, okay? Look at that. You see this? It 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 works, okay? And it's freaking quest compatible. Isn't that freaking awesome? 